keep it fun. Um, for everybody that missed, did, who, who was on the webinar last night? I want to know who was on session number two, week two of the January kickoff special. Who was on that webinar last night? Was anybody, was anybody that was on the webinar here right now? Because we had a blast last night. I'm talking like, I thought week one, like you ever like come like so hard on week one and you do something, you're like, man, I don't know how we're going to top that. Like we, we had so much fun last night. Yo, if you want the replay to last night, if you want last night's replay, um, let me know, shoot a, shoot me a message, pop something down here. But if you want last night's replay, I'm telling you, you missed something like, it was so fun. It was so epic. I'm so glad we did that last night. Um, topping that next week is gonna be um, is gonna be even better. So yeah, I live it. I live it every day. It's sweatpants life. Um, I just you know I live the sweatpants life. So um, so yeah, today here we go. Grab my notebook because I got some stuff for you guys. You know I can't. You know how you know how I feel. I, I can't stay on track anyway. So I got to give you all some notes. So we're going to talk personal branding um, today, guys. If you do have questions about personal branding, anything that uh, involves your brand, anything that involves branding, okay, anything that you've heard about branding, if you got questions about it, if you're confused about it, um, don't, don't be afraid to ask me. If, you, if you're afraid to ask your question live, it's okay. Shoot me an inbox message. We'll get you to the right stuff, and um, we'll start helping you build the right brand, okay? But there's a few things that I want to go over today. Let's, let's move this. I'm going to actually use this thing I bought, and uh, we'll make use of this. What's up, Carl? What's going on, man? Okay. There we go. I feel like a teacher. <laughs> I feel like a professor now. Mm, all right. Ready for this? All right. So one of the biggest things that I feel like people miss when it comes to branding, um, and this is where you want to start taking notes. If, you, if you've been waiting with a pen in your hand, you're like, Ryan, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, branding is not for everyone. I want I want to make that very clear. Branding is not for everyone. All right, personal branding is not for everyone. I think a lot of times, especially in our space. Uh, good afternoon, Ann. What's up? I think a lot of times we fall into this thing where we think that uh, now that I'm going to build a personal brand, um, I got to tell everybody else in the world to go out and build their personal brand. I got to go out and make sure my entire team is building their, their branding themselves and they're not branding the company or they're not doing everything wrong. And, you know, the thing about it, guys, is personal branding isn't for everyone. It really isn't. All right. And, and when it comes to uh, learning who to tell to, to brand themselves or who to not tell to brand themselves. It, it just really matters on what they want. What are the, what are the, what are the things they want to accomplish? What are the goals that they have? All right. If someone just wants to be a product user and the, yeah, they maybe want to make it a little bit of extra money, but they're not really looking to market something. They're not really looking to go all out. They're not all in. They're not going hard. They're not going ham. You know, it may, they may not be the person to brand themselves. A lot of time, I mean, this is just the honest truth, guys, but the majority of people, especially let's just say you have a group of 100. Let's just keep the numbers simple. You've got a group of 100. Maybe, just maybe 10, 15 tops, 20 of those. I would even say that's probably stretching it. 10 to 15 of those are going to have the capability of actually branding themselves well. Okay. The other people just they, they aren't there yet. They really aren't there yet. Now, can they get there? Of course they can get there, but I just want you guys to understand if you're just joining me here, personal branding is not for everyone. Okay? Um, I'm not gonna go too deep in that, but I just want you to know, like when you're when you're building your teams, when you're talking to things, when you're talking to people, um, be very, be very vocal about hey. Um, you know, we, we just launched a new project yesterday. We just launched this new project yesterday. Um, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of marketing with this group. We're going to be doing a lot of personal development with this group. We're going to be working very closely and hands-on with this group. But we're also going to be very vocal on, on letting this group know that, hey, a lot of this stuff isn't mandatory. All right. Now, if you decide that you want to make an extra thousand, two thousand dollars a month, then yes, yeah, some of this stuff is going to be mandatory for you based on what your goals are. But if those aren't your goals, then this stuff is not for you. All right. The branding stuff is not for you. The marketing stuff isn't for you. You know, a lot of the stuff that we're going to go over isn't for you. But it, but it's voluntary. If you could, if you want to show up, show up. If you don't want it, you don't. You don't have to get it. All right. So uh, just to touch on that, I could probably talk on that all day long. Um, 
So these are a couple questions that I get around that, that surround branding a lot. Um, do I have to brand myself in order to become a top producer or top earner in my niche? And the answer is an absolute no. Okay. Um, do you have to brand yourself in order to become a top producer or top earner in whatever niche you're in? Absolutely not. Does it? Is it significantly easier to do so if you're branding yourself? Hell, freaking yeah. Okay, that's what I'll say to that. Hell yeah. Do you have to brand yourself? No, of course not. You don't have to do anything. The only thing, what do we promise on here? Pay taxes and die, really, right? Take up some space. But uh, you don't have to brand yourself in order to become a top producer, top earner. So just because you have chosen to brand yourself doesn't mean that, you know, uh, Joey down the street or Joey building his business, he may not have to brand himself in order to hit top, top positions or whatever he's trying to do. Okay. Will it help? Of course, not going to hurt. Okay. But you don't have to brand yourself in order to be a top earner. Okay. Or a top producer in whatever niche you're in. Okay. It just helps. It does help the cause. Okay. It's not going to hurt you uh, to, to go out there and, and build a brand, build that personal brand. Uh, Ryan, what's up, man? I see Anita popped on. What's going on? Talk to me, people. Are you getting some value from this? If you are, don't be afraid to hit that share button. It doesn't bite. I promise. I pressed it before. My thumbs are still here. It's not a detonation button. Okay. So if you are getting value, I know some people think, oh, I don't want to press the share button. It may explode. I've seen Mission Impossible. Okay. I've seen it. Trust me, I know what happens when you press the button and then things start exploding everywhere. Hey, it's perfectly fine. If you get value from any of what I'm talking about, perfectly fine to comment and share by clicking the share button. It will not explode, I promise. Okay, cool. So, um, how do I know if I need to start building my brand? I kind of touched on that earlier. Once you've made the decision to achieve a certain result, achieve a certain income, achieve a certain rank, achieve a certain whatever you really want, okay, that may be the sign that you know what I really need to start branding myself. Um, if you look at your business and you say, I want a level of ease, okay, a lot of us, who wants it, who wants who wants to show up to their business every single day and feel like, oh, hey, this thing is easy to me? Who wants to feel like that? Put a number one while I get a drink of water. I'm going to lose my voice. Um, and uh, thank you for the, all the recommendations for water. I did switch up my water. No more Dasani. They have, they have pulled out. Dasani has pulled out their sponsorship of lunch money. And now we drink eternal water. But that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know from you. Hey, 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 Latandria, what's up? Ooh, Valerie's here. What's up, Val? What up? So, um, you know, if you feel like that, that's what I kind of want to know. So we're going to go over some stuff that people really miss the mark when it comes to branding. This is where people really miss the mark. And uh, this, is, this is where I've been able to help a lot of people when it comes to building a good brand and, and understanding how and, and why to build a brand and knowing when to do and knowing when not to do. So, guys, remember. Okay, once you actually get to that place where you decide, hey, this is what I want, I want an easy business. I want to show up every day and feel like I'm effortless in business. What's up, Claudia? What's up, Claudia? Claudia Rogers, the, the agent of the year, agent of the year in the house. If you need a, a mortgage loan, Claudia is the, Claudia is the girl. Okay, we talked about branding before too, you know. Claudia, um, you know, I think it's a perfect example. You know, um, we talked about building that personal brand, you know, really solidifying that brand. And, you know, you've, you've done it. You've hit the, you hit the, you were the top agent in the area, right? In the region or whatever, in America. And, you know, you still can really stretch yourself in terms of building a personal brand. But did you have to do the branding in order to reach what you did? No. All right. So it's just, it's going to help. All right. Now. <laughs> um, let's see, big branding errors. Esther, what's up? What up? Big branding errors, number one. Big branding error, number one. Uh, branding is more than just a logo, okay? Get that out of your head right now. I used to think the same thing. I used to think, hey, um, if I'm going to build a brand, I just need to go on Fiverr. I just need to come up with some cool logo, and then everyone's just going to know exactly what I do how I do it, they're going to throw money at me, and then I'm just going to get rich. And then it's a wrap. Here's the deal. Your brand is way more than just some logo. It's way more than a slogan. 
your brand is it, it's you it's your vision it's it's your passion your brand is it's it's it surrounds your 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 goals it surrounds your your mission uh, your your brand um, it, it, it carries your values. You know what I mean? It, it's it's the inside, it's the workings of who you really are and what you stand for. Okay? Pam, what's going on? So, it's more than that. You know, when people come to me and they ask me for branding help, uh, we, we do brand sessions, we do brand strategies, and, you know, I can typically come up with something. They give me, if they give me a little bit, we can take it and we can run, we can just explode it right there on the spot. It's just something I've developed and it's something I've just become really good at. However, when you can start to, and I'm going to give you some tips here, because the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to understand your audience. You've got to understand who you are talking to. That's the most important thing, because once you really do that the right way, all right, if you haven't gone through Build a Badass Brand or you missed the, um, the focus group for Build a Badass Brand, you still got a chance to get in there. Go to ryanmcmorris.com forward slash special. Write that down or somebody post it up here. All right, so remember that your brand is way more than just a logo. A lot of people are so worried about making money <clears throat> that they put low priority on their brand. All right, they put low priority on branding, on learning branding, on, on hiring the person to help them with their brand, on, on taking the time to actually think about what their brand is and, what, and all that encompasses their brand instead of just a logo or a statement. So when you can let go of thinking about how am I going to make money, how am I going to make money, how am I going to make money, and you can move into a place where you're serving your target audience, they'll actually build the brand for you. I mean, that, that's the beauty of building a badass brand is when you do it the right way with your target audience, they'll help you build your brand. That's a beautiful thing. Um, I've been asked before, does what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? Well, in branding, what comes first? Is it the brand or is it the audience? A lot of people, they try to, to build the brand and then they try to attract the audience. Okay? What I want you to do is I want you to establish the audience. I want you to do your research and understand the audience first, then build the brand that will attract the audience. Um, so one of the biggest mistakes that we make is failing to do our research failing to do our research on our target audience. And I just don't mean just deciding, okay, who do I want to sell to? I want you to know their objections. I want you to know their fears. I want you to know their thoughts. I want you to know what they eat for breakfast. I want you to know their favorite candy. I want you to know their favorite movies, their favorite TV shows, their favorite books. I want you to know what they, I want you to know what their favorite shoes are. I want you to know what kind of clothes they wear. I want you to know this person inside and out. And a lot of us, we don't take the actual time to research who these people are, that we want their money, right? We want their money from them, okay? We don't take the time to research the pains, the frustrations, all the things that they're going through so we can understand, so our brand message, it speaks to them, all right? So that's the most important thing. It's, it's know your vision, know your purpose, then understand your target audience, and then solve their problem and build the brand as it goes, Okay, so another one, <clears throat> another one, this is a big one, moving, moving along here with brand mistakes that people make, all right, a uh, big brand mistake that I see a lot of times is people don't, people are failing to research who their competition is, okay, and then once they actually finally make the, the, the effort to say, okay, who am I competing with, you've got to, to, to answer that and say, you know what, I'm not competing with anyone but me. I'm here to dominate this niche. I'm here to dominate this market. I'm here to dominate, not compete. I've talked about it before. All right? Apple's not looking to compete. All right? Google is not looking to compete. Okay? Uber, they are not looking to compete anymore, guys. These companies are not, they're no longer. Competition, the only good thing that competition is good for is the consumer. So, you got to get to that place too, where you're where you're done competing. You make a decision where you know what I'm done. I ain't competing no more. Okay? You can snap your finger with it. Do what you do. What the, do what the girls do. The people that do the, the thing with the wave and the hair and the stuff. All right? But I'm telling you, once you make a decision that you, you know what I'm not going to compete anymore. I'm here to dominate. All right? I want you to repeat that. I'm here to dominate. Who's here with me? I want you to repeat that. Just say. 
I'm here to dominate. I'm not here to compete. I'm here to dominate. And just, just feel it. If you're at work right now and you, and you got to say it out loud, say it out loud. Say, I'm here to dominate. Somebody's going to look at you funny. Good. You should be looking at them funny because they're there to compete, not to dominate. Mm. That's really good water. I'm, I'm just really excited about our new, our next water move. That was just a really good good water move that we made. Um, went over that one. Um, <coughs> one big thing. Phoebe, what's up? Linda, what's going on? I'm here to dominate. Exactly. Only one person said it, so I don't know if you guys are just here to compete, but hey, me and uh, me and Linda are here to dominate, so it's okay. There it is. Junie's here to dominate. I like it. I love it. Uh, next one. Branding is not a one-time thing, okay? Branding is not a one-time thing. A lot of people think, hey, I'm going to build this brand. I'm going to do it. I got it. What's up? Build a brand. You know what to do. Boom, okay? Now. Guess what? It's not a one-time thing. You continue to build your brand as you go. You go and you continue to build it. You continue to let your brand um, evolve. You can. You. You. It's not a one-time thing. It. It. It grows. It. It evolves. It, it can't just be this one-time thing that you think, "Hey, I'm going to do this and uh, it's going to be done." Okay. So get that out of your head too. And the last thing is uh, make sure that your message continues to be congruent with your audience. All too many times I keep seeing the message that people are sending out and it's not congruent with whatever brand they've built. You've got to have a congruent message or your audience is going to get confused. They are, they are really going to get confused if you're not congruent. So one of, the big, one of the biggest pieces of advice that I can give to you when it comes to having a congruent brand with your congruent, with a, with a congruent, with that, with a congruent branding message Say that 10 times or 11 times fast. Yeah? Uh, one of the biggest things that you can do, one of the biggest pieces of, of advice that I can give you when it comes to building a congruent brand and a congruent brand message is to, um, to always understand that, you know, when you're solving a problem, okay, when you're, there, when you're here to solve a problem, you've got to speak to the, the biggest skeptic in the room, Okay? Your brand has to speak to the biggest skeptic in the room, not to the person that loves you, that is like, you know, all about you, that buys everything from you no matter what. You just say, hey, here it is, and they just say, I don't care what, I'm just going to buy it because I just absolutely love this person. Now, when you speak to the biggest skeptic in the room and you you address all their objections, you, you address all their uh, thoughts. You you address all their fears, all their pains. When you address that person's stuff, what's going to happen is you actually speak and you cover all your bases with everybody, with everybody else that views your message, everybody else in the room, everybody else that's watching you. You cover your you cover all your bases. Now, chances are the biggest skeptic in the room is not going to buy from you that day. Right now, who knows what's going to happen in the future? Who knows the type of things that change over time? You, are, you, know, you never know, right? You, you just never know. Trust me, I've had um, last week a guy that I thought would never buy from me, right? Now I was like, man, this guy's never going to buy from me. You know, he's just you know, never going to buy. Pops out of nowhere and, you know, spends $500. Whoa, blew my mind, right? You never know what's going to happen. So remember that your message has to speak. To the biggest skeptic, the biggest cynic, the biggest person that thinks that everything is just a scam, speak to that person. You're not going to sell to that person all the time, but the people that are above that cynic, the skeptic, that aren't as you know hardcore or crazy that as that person is, like the likelihood of you selling to that person is, is pretty high. So that's all I got for you in terms of branding, my friends. Does anybody have any questions? Um, again, if you want the replay to last night's. New Year's kickoff webinar, or you have not gotten access to the New Year's kickoff special, okay, make sure you go to ryanmcmorris.com forward slash special, okay, someone can put that in there, that way no one gets confused and say, what's the link again? So if you know the link, ryanmcmorris.com forward slash special, I'll take any questions, anybody have any questions for me, feel free to ask me your questions, 
Um, let's see what time it is. We got a few minutes left. A few minutes left for lunch money. So um, did you guys get value from this? Was it good stuff? Did anybody have any light bulbs go off? Branding light bulbs go off? Did you have any aha moments where you're like, oh, I get it now. Like, okay, I get the branding thing. Can we, yeah. Now I can get rolling a little bit. Now I can move forward a little bit. Now I can start to uh, to dance in the jungle of the of the branding peeps now. Did you guys get some value? Let me know. Let me know. I like the hearts. I like the thumbs up. I like that. I like that. Um, feel free to let me know in words as well. Um, communicating in words is also good too. Aha moments. Yes, Linda had some aha moments. Yes, I had an aha moment again. You're right. Back to back. Aha moments. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Good stuff. <clears throat> Again, um, if you're looking for some like big time breakthroughs, um, I guarantee. I mean, if you go get build a badass brand, um, your life will just. I mean, what what where you take your brand will just skyrocket. I promise. You'll literally go to the um, what is it? The uh, the interviews, the case study interviews. Uh, man. Case study interviews are heavy, 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 heavy hitters in that one. Over 20 hours of just me holding people's hands to build the ultimate brand. I'm new to you, and I'm very impressed. I am happy that you're new, and I'm happy that you're impressed. I like impressed people. So um, welcome, Pam. Welcome to Lunch Money. Make sure you tune in every day, 1230 Eastern. And uh, if you got questions, all, all you got to do is uh, ask your questions here. Or reply to one of my emails. If you're not on my email list already, go to my website, ryanmcmorris.com, and uh, grab my free ebook. You'll get the ebook, you'll get on my email list, and you'll get access to all, all sorts of cool stuff and offers that uh, we got going on. So, nobody's got any questions for me. Remember, guys, Lunch Money is recorded on my YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's also recorded on my blog, so go to my blog, check it out. I put, uh, you know, I, I, I like blogging now. I really like it. It's, it's pretty fun. So, um, yeah, hop over to my blog, RyanMcMorris.com. That's where it's at. I'll see you guys tomorrow.